The Eastern Express train line in Turkey, also known as Doğu Ekspresi, is an outstanding route full of adventure, fun, and speechless landscapes. The train departs from Ankara going all the way to Kars in Eastern Anatolia, and is one of the longest train rides in the country. If you're planning a trip on this train, here are all of the things and recommendations that you need to know. Because trust me, the tickets sell out within hours, but with our tips in this video, you'll have a better chance of finding tickets for yourself. So finally, let's start by telling you what it's all about with this Eastern Express train, that in the past years, it has become even more famous, not just among the Turkish nationals, but also among foreign tourists. So basically, this is a train line that you can get it from Ankara and goes all the way to Kars. And just to go from one city to the other city, it will take around 25 to 30 hours, which by the way, let us know in comments below if you will feel comfortable traveling on a train for 30 hours or even more. And also this route is 1,300 kilometers long. So throughout this route, you will be able to visit cities such as Erzurum, Erzincan, Kayseri, Sivas, Ankara, and you will finish in Kars, which is a border city with Armenia. And I can definitely tell you that this Eastern Express train line is one of the most beautiful and most scenic ones that you can take in Turkey. In case that you haven't watched our other videos that we specifically made in Erzurum and in Kars, then we highly recommend you to go watch them because these are less known cities, but they're definitely worth a visit. So if you're looking for some other different places to visit in this beautiful country, then go check them out. In our case, we didn't have the opportunity of taking the train from Ankara because of course, for taking it from there, you will need much more time to spend in that region. So that is why we had to take the train from Erzurum. And for that, we took a direct flight from Istanbul to Erzurum and from there, we boarded the train all the way to Kars and it only took about five hours to arrive. So in case that you don't have enough time, you can also do this route for yourself. Also, some of you have been asking me in, in our previous videos about Air Zoom and Cars, how they can take this train all the way from Istanbul to Cars. So, well, actually, if you want to travel only by train, you can definitely do it, but you will have to change the train line. So, for example, if you want to travel from Istanbul to Ankara by train, you can do it. There is a train line that actually is the same one going to Eskişehir. So you can take that one because that one will take you all the way to Ankara. So you can take it on the Asian side of Istanbul from Soutlu Çeşme station, Bostanji station, which will be the closest stations from the most touristic areas in the city. And the train from Istanbul to Ankara will take about maybe four hours and a half or five hours to arrive only one way. And actually it's quite fast because that one is the is the fast train It's not as the one the eastern express that is just a normal train and before you go ahead and book your eastern express train tickets you need to know some information that at the beginning it was a bit difficult for us to understand and after reading in several turkish websites we finally understood how the train works so we don't want you to to make the same mistake and to book the wrong one or that the experience will be a bit different there are two type of trains that you will be able to find on the official website of the do expressi and the touristic one you will be able to to find it out easily because it's written as touristic do expressi so that one will be the one that you would like to buy tickets for because those ones also have those luxury cabin type for two people where also your, your cabin will have a personal table, a fridge, and even will be much more comfortable. Meanwhile, the other Eastern Express train, which is like the normal one, not the touristic one, you will find wagons uh, for seated and a car that also has comfortable seats which can be easily transformed into a bed. Also on the train, you will be able to find a wagon exclusively for a restaurant where you can find, for example, little snacks or tea or even coffee. Or if you would like to as well, you can bring foods and drinks from outside. So depending on the seats and the wagon and even the train that you're going to buy, 
the prices will differ. So for example, for a seated wagon, you will pay as little as 30 Turkish Liras per person. And for the most luxurious cabin, you can pay up to 600 Turkish Liras per person. Also keep in mind that there is another big difference between these two type of trains. And the main one will be that one of them takes longer than the other one. So in the case that you want to take the touristic Do Expressi, just keep in mind that it will take about 30 hours, probably one week. And why is this? Because that train tends to stop in some of the main cities. So also people can stretch their legs and even if they want, they can also go and explore just for a couple of hours. Mainly they stop in Erzurum. In Erzurum actually is the longest stop, which is just one before cars, like from the main cities. I think it will stop there about three hours. So also you will have the chance to explore very quick these other cities. And the classic one, will stop only for 15 to 20 minutes in each one of the stations. So that is why if you take the classic one, you will arrive sooner than in the touristic one. This is another question that I have seen a lot on many Facebook groups and even people, they have also written me privately saying like they cannot find tickets because they just sell out immediately. And that is true. But for that, that is why I want to give you this specific tip that in our case we did and it worked perfectly. Let's imagine that you would like to take the train on March 1st. So for that, you don't have to wait and you shouldn't actually, you shouldn't wait until one or two weeks before you take the trip. Why? Because right away the tickets are selling. And that is why we're telling you that if you want to take the train, you need to start looking one month before your trip. And that will be 1st of February because the system will open up for your date one month ahead. So please just take this piece of advice with you because this will really save your plans if you want to take the train. Because if you wait two or even three days after the, the date open up on the system, more likely all the tickets will be gone. And this is because since the train is a, it's a very popular activity among the Turkish nationals, many tourism agencies, the local ones, will book at once tons of tickets. So we are telling you this because that almost happened to us. And it wasn't even the, uh, the touristic train. It was just the classic one. And even then we almost missed our chance. So now you, can you imagine with the touristic one that it's even more famous and more popular? So that is why we tell you to start and look into the system as soon as it is midnight and the system open up for the date that you would like to travel at. Now I would like to show you from the official website how to get the tickets and what options you will find. It will be mostly in Turkish and actually even though they have an English version, some things are not translated into English. So I will show you right now as well. Here let's start looking for the official website where you can find the tickets for the train. So we really want the first option which is TCDD. And E-bilet, e -bilet, it means like the ticket. So this is the official website. You can go there and as you can see there, there are some announcements in Turkish, which is about the HES code. You are going to need it. And here you can click English for the English version. So here we are going to type from Ankara Gar all the way to cars. Now, please keep in mind that also the touristic do expressi departs from Ankara to Kars only twice a week. And those days will be Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you want to take specifically the, the touristic Do Expressi, you need to choose either a Wednesday or a Friday. For example, here we can already see at what time it departs, which is at almost four o'clock. And this is the time in total that it will take. Remember that depending on the weather season and the weather conditions, it might take longer as well. So if you take it during the snowy times, you it might take longer probably. And here is the classical one. And as you can see, this is the, the price, one 1,300 for a cabin, for the full cabin for two people. So you cannot buy, so for example, if you're going with your friend or, or with your partner, it's one 1,300 liters for both for the cabin. And this one also, which is the couchette type or the seated wagon. Now in this part, if you click it, you will be able to see 
how long and at what stations the train will stop at. So here you can also see like how long it will it will stop. There are two cities that it will mainly stop for a longer time. In this case is Ilich and it will stop for about three hours. And the next one will be Erzurum. Erzurum, which is the main, uh, one of the biggest cities before cars. In Erzurum will also stop for almost three hours. And then it will go directly to cars. And now here, as you can see, this is for the classic though Expressi, and this one takes less time because it only stops for a couple of minutes in each one of the stations. So that is why it will take way less time. So you have both options. I mean, if you don't mind taking like the most comfortable cabin and so on, you can also take the normal one. Now, another option, it's also that you can take it from cars to Ankara. Usually those ones are not taken right away. So also you could use this one, but keep in mind that this one is only Fridays and Sundays, Fridays and Sundays. So now here we can see at what time it will depart. In the case of the classic Doe Express, it departs early morning, but the touristic one will depart on the same day around after 10 p.m. Here we can see how long it takes. And as well, it will be the same price. Here you can have both options. Okay, now for example, depending on the route that you're taking for the train, you're going to stop in different cities. So in the case of from Cars to Ankara, then you will stop in some different cities that the train stop when coming from Ankara to Cars. So for example, in this case, it will stop in Erzincan. In Erzincan will be one of the longest stops, almost three hours. As you can see from here, Erzincan, three hours. The next one will be Divre or Divri. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. It's also a stop of almost three hours. Then Sivas, Sivas, they say it's a very beautiful city as well. And also about two or three hours and that will be it. And then it will go all the way to Ankara. And the last thing that I want to show you is that also depending on the station you're getting at, it will have a different price. So let's compare between the classic train and the touristic train so you can see what I'm talking about. So here we're going to choose also on Wednesday so we can compare the both trains. Okay, and then here, for example, this is the whole route. So one will cost 82 when the touristic one 1,300 Turkish Liras for the cabin. Now let's imagine if we take it from Kayseri. Now from Kayseri, the classic will be 61, 62 liras. Meanwhile, the touristic will remain the same price, 1,300 Turkish liras for the cabin. On the other hand, if you take it from Erzurum, which is just one station before cars, and it's, it's where we took it from, which is, uh, it takes about five hours actually to arrive. Here you can see that you can pay as little as 30 Turkish Liras for the classic one, which is just a seated wagon or the couchette type cabin. But the touristic one will remain the same, 1,300 Turkish Liras for two people. And finally, I will just mention in at once what are all the services that we can find inside the train. So first of all, we will find a wagon with a small restaurant where you can get coffee, tea, or any sort of, of, of small snacks. But as I mentioned before, you can also bring your own food and drinks from outside so you can enjoy the travel even more. And the type of wagons as well you will be able to find will be the bedded, seated, and also the ones that have the cushion type uh, seats and beds. Not only you will have the opportunity of enjoying amazing and stunning views of the landscapes, but also you will have the opportunity of learning about new cultures, even inside Turkey, because Turkey is so vast and so diverse that it is so fascinating at the same time. And Eastern Anatolia is not the exception. Take the chance and explore new destinations that are not very common among foreign tourists. It just go outside of Cappadocia, Antalya, Izmir, go further, check more destinations. Trust me, you will not regret it. 
So these were the things that you should know before booking your Do Express train tickets. Hopefully our experience and also our recommendations were helpful for you. Also, I would like to thank to each one of our Patreon and YouTube members for giving us that extra support in creating more content for our YouTube channel. If you want to become a member of our Patreon and YouTube membership, then we're going to be leaving the official links in our description box and pinned comment, where apart from supporting us, we are going to give you some benefits and services such as itineraries and even consultation. So go check them out. So see you in the next video and please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Bye bye.